everyone, it's Naomi Ekanaito from Encouragement from the Word of God. God is faithful. God is so good. Today I'm going to talk with you about remembering what God has done in our lives. We know it's so easy to forget. Sometimes we forget what God has done in our lives. So today we're going to talk about how we can remember to make sure that we remember what God has done in our past, what God has done in our lives even every day of our lives. There are so many things that God has done in our lives. So let's not forget. So today uh, the scripture verse is from Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 12. It says, Then take care lest you forget Lord who brought you out of, land, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. That is God is telling his people, Israel people, do not forget who brought you out from the slavery. Who brought you out from Egypt? God is telling his people, Israel people. Because Israel people soon forgot who saved them. Israel people soon started grum being grumpy and complaining and were not remembering what God has done. They forgot how God was powerful, how God uh, divided the Red Sea into half and how um, divided and they were saved from the Israel, uh, e um, Egypt people, Egyptians who were coming to kill them. The Israel people were protected. They forgot everything. So God said to them, do not forget them. Do not forget me. So God is telling you and me today, do not forget what I have done and don't give the glory that belongs to God to anybody else. Not to idols, not to anybody, not to people, but give the glory to God. God alone deserves the full glory, honor, and praise. And another verse in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2, it says, And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. He, then again, God is talking to Israel people and telling to remember. And God told the people to remember and to tell the children's children about what God has done. So they had a Passover a supper where they would think what he has done and what God has done. They would discuss so that the whole family would know what God has done. Even if they had new children who were newly born, they would get to know what God has done so that the tradition would be passed from generation to generation so people would remember what God has done. Sometimes here in this uh, 20th century, like here at this time of age, we do not tell even our, peer, even our children what God has done. Even sometimes we do not share among our siblings what God has done. We do not even talk to our parents and tell what God has done. But God wants us to us to be always be that mouthpiece spreading the good news of what God has done in our lives because God does so many things sometimes we feel like it's a small thing why should I want to share but God wants us to be thankful and to remember him remember him so when we share it with our children and we when we tell our children we were like this before see what God has done see how God brought us this way see how God provided us See how God gave us the finances we need. See how God protect us from the sickness. See how God protect us in our travel time. When we share with our family, with our friends, with our loved ones, when we keep on sharing, God will be glorified and he would get the full glory, honor and praise. So he is telling us to always remember what he has done and to keep on remembering. So Moses instructed the Israel people in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 18 to 19 itself it says thou shalt not be afraid of them but shall well remember what the Lord thy God did unto Pharaoh and unto all Egypt the signs and the wonders the mighty hand the stretched out arm whereby the Lord thy God brought thee out so shall the Lord thy God do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid 
So this was the time that people of Israel has forgotten how God protected them, how God saved them from the Egyptians and how God performed through Moses so much miracles like the water turning into blood, uh, the uh, so many um, things, um, storms coming, hailstorms and so much signs and wonders that Moses was able to perform in front of Pharaoh so that Pharaoh's heart would be changed to set the people of Israel to go and to set the captives free. And Israel people forgot all what God has done. So God is telling you and me today, have you forgotten what he has done in your life, even as you were a child, even as you were grown up, even down today? Have you forgotten what he has done for you? Because I'm sure there are so many things that God has done in your life, like what he has done in mine. There are so many things. And in Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 3, it says, Thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in Egypt. God is reminding the people of Israel because people of Israel have, must have forgotten what God did. God is reminding that you were in bond before. You were in slavery before. Have you forgotten that? God is remind, reminding you and me today. We were in sin before and God forgave our sins by the blood of Jesus. God is reminding us that we were having sickness and God healed us. And he's reminding us so that we would give him the glory, the honor, the praise that deserves, that he alone deserves. In, even in prophet Isaiah, he's saying in Isaiah chapter 51 verse 12 to 13, Who art thou that thou should be afraid of man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass? And forgettest the Lord thy maker? that hath stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy and where is the fury of the oppressor in isaiah chapter 51 verse 12 to 13 isaiah is telling the prophet isaiah is telling the people you have forgotten you're fearing the people around you. You're fearing the enemy around you. Have you forgotten the God who made the foundations of the earth? Have you forgotten the God who created the heavens and the earth? So God is talking to you and me today. Even though we have so much troubles around us, trials around us, temptations around us, tempting us and trying us and um, discouraging us all around us, God is telling us, have you forgotten who your God is? Have you forgotten who you serve? You serve a mighty, awesome, mighty God who created heaven and earth, who created all of us, who created even everyone around us, who created everyone. Are you, why are you afraid? Why are you worried? Why are you upset? Why are you crying? Why are you downcast? Remember, remember his promises. Do not forget what he has done in your life. So God is faithful. So let's remember what he has done and let us give him the glory. Let, him, let us give him the honor and praise. And in the, God is saying um, to the prophet, the reason you're afraid is because you have forgotten who I am. You're looking only at your troubles and have forgotten that my hand is still in your life. God's hand is still in our life. We should not worry about what's what's in front of us the troubles that are in front of us but let our focus be on god alone so let's remember i want to just remember how times that god has provided for me i can remember from the time i was born up to now how god has provided for me provided things that i needed provided ways for me provided uh, people for me provided everything that I need in my life. God has been faithful. I'm sure there is uh, examples in your life that you can remember how God provided for you. I remember that God has been faithful and God has taken us from the miry clay and put our feet on a rock, the rock of Jesus.
and I can remember how God protected me so many times how God has protected me even when I was a young girl how God protected me how God protected me in the office when I was working and how God protected me everywhere I went I used to remember I used to after I finished the Bible study or evening prayers a prayer meeting um, I would be walking down the road from the church to our home that's a long walk that I have been walking and I remember how God protected me how God didn't allow any danger to come upon me how God protects me even today and how God protects our children our family through the COVID and also d driving here and there places how God protected us on the road there can be so much accident so much um, things can happen but God protected us even when we had that big accident maybe five six years ago our children were not at the back of the car and even I was in front and my husband was driving we were not harmed not one of our bones or body was harmed even though it was a major accident so how God protects us and how he has healed us I remember having um, um, when I was small, I remember um, falling sick all the time and how God healed me. Even now, even if I have a headache or even if we don't have a major sickness in our body, but even if a small sickness comes, we just cry to God and how he, he heals us. And I remember how my son Jason was sick and he was in the hospital and how God healed him and how God restored his health and to give him good life. and and life back again how God has healed us and how God has delivered us from sin there are so much temptations around every one of us God protects us from sin that easily entangles us easily distracts us easily takes our focus on God and put the focus on the sin I want to thank God because he has forgiven our sins he has forgiven my sin he has restored me deliver, delivered me he is faithful and I want to thank God and remember how he loved me I can remember that when we when I went for so many interviews uh, how I was picked up even without qualifications even without any influence how God picked me because he loved me he wanted to show me his favor he wanted to give me glory give his give his name glory and and show favor through me so to God be the glory how we show how many things we have in our life that God has done and we should never forget we should always remember so those days I used to write down every um, time I feel like I feel like a good breakthrough a miracle happens I used to write down and it used to be wonderful when when you are down when you are upset just go through the books and read and see how God has done so much things God even encouraged people to write it down write down what he has done and to glorify him and to praise him to honor him to magnify him because he alone deserves all the glory all the honor all the praise because we are all nothing we are just vessels for him for God to be used so I hope that you were encouraged today to remember what God has done in your life and tell others what God has done and keep on sharing, keep on remembering. Whenever you face something, remember what God has done for you and always know that God is with you. I just want to pray with you and want to worship, sing a worship song later to God with you. Let's pray together. Father, we come to you. Thank you, Lord, that you tell us to remember Remember you, Lord. Remember what you have done in our lives. Lord, we ask you forgiveness for not remembering, not, uh, Lord, bringing into our mind what you have done. Lord, you have over and over and over again been providing, protecting, guiding, healing, protecting and guiding us, Lord, in our life. Over and over again, you have shown your love, forgiven our sins, Lord. Over and over and again, you have covered us and protected us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to remember it. We don't want to forget. We want to let our generations and generations to come to know and remember what you have done and give you the glory that you deserve. Lord, no one deserves glory but you alone. Only you alone, God alone, deserves the glory. 
Lord, we want to worship you. We want to give you glory and what we want to remember. And we are careful to give you the glory. Lord, I pray for anyone who doesn't know you, that you come into their hearts, that you touch and soften their hearts, that their hearts will be open to hear your word and let your word set them free, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, so I just want to sing to you, with you, one song. It's called Splendor of the King. How great is our God. So let's remember and sing this song and tell of his goodness. The splendor of a king, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, all will see how great, how great is our God. Age to age he stands, time is in his hands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God had three in one, Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. How great is our God! Sing with me how great is our God. Always see how great, how great is our God. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing, How great is our God. God is great. He is worthy of praise. So let's worship Him. Let's remember what He has done. And let's keep on remembering and reminding people around us what He has done and how He, how faithful He is how good he is. So I hope that you were encouraged today to keep on remembering what he has done in your life and keep on encouraging others around you and reminding them how faithful, how good our God is. God bless you. Bye.